Jesus Christ. What is up guys? Welcome to another video. 21 Savage exposed for scamming Aiden Ross. Let's get straight into the video guys. So today I want to have a little conversation about this story involving Aiden Ross and mm. 21 Savage. 21, can you scam some for me? So you might have heard about the story, but it involves streamer Aiden Ross, a guy who I'm sure you might be familiar with. He's one mm. of the most popular streamers in the world. Now, Aiden Ross the other day was doing a little stream with 21 Savage, who recently dropped an album. He's doing like a promo run, and so he's on Aiden Ross' platform, right? But they were doing this little stream where they're playing a little bit of 2K, and they were okay. also playing a game of cards. Everything seemed to be going just just fine until 21 Savage decided to be on some sneaky, sneaky shit. So 21 Savage decided to cheat in front of hundreds of thousands of people right in front of Aiden Ross's face. And in the end, when he got caught by Aiden Ross, he decided to just play stupid. So let me just play you this clip right here where you can see 21 Savage handing an entire deck of cards to one of his homies who's not in the frame. And then a couple seconds later, he hands those cards back to 21 Savage. They then spread all the cards over the little coffee table that they're using. A couple seconds later, something really interesting happens. You see 21 Savage hovering his head over the coffee table and then he's like looking very intensely at the cards on the table mind you there's an audience of hundreds of thousands of people because this is a live stream and people are seeing this go down and they're putting all this in the chat nah he's not gonna scam me trust i know how to play that shit yeah nah do we have like a table where we could sit like this yeah like a little circle like a little circle on the table yeah. here okay call it yeah. He's gonna put a table right here, so sorry. You gotta play at least a thousand. Alright, I'm gonna learn it, bro. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna lose more, so it's fine. High card. High card, yeah. yeah it's, 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 it is? It just yeah. Fuck, yeah. bro. Fuck. Mm. Show it first, because I showed it first last time. Don't be with I could see it. I mean, if I can see it, think a hundred thousand people. And this is your friend. Beware of the people which you surround yourself with. Beware. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, 21 is... You hear it in his music, right? He's a thug. So if a thug be thugging, it doesn't surprise me. What surprised me is like, this guy, 21, he hangs out with like Drake and celebrity. He's doing this to. <sighs> and as you can see, he has like a fresh deck of cards. And then right here, okay, right one second, right there he hands it over to someone okay so he hands it over to one of his homies because he doesn't have the cards in his hands at this moment right here right and so he's waiting for him to do his little magic and then right right here he gets the cards back let's see boom he gets the cards back okay he gets the cards back okay and then boom they put it on they put all the cards on the table and then as you can see Aiden Ross he's like looking at the chat and then what happens right here look Aiden Ross leans over to the computer. His homie points at the exact card, okay? Because it's marked. That's what it is. 21 Savage takes the damn card. Boom! There we go. And then Aiden looks back, and he doesn't notice anything. And then to top it off, after this entire ordeal, as you can see right here, okay, they're both, both Aiden and 21 Savage. They're looking at the chat. They're looking, you know, their eyes are on the computer, right? And look what happens right here. 21 Savage does like this little signal right here to one of his homies. And what does that mean? Well, what does he do a couple seconds later? Bam, he's pointing at the cards that are on the table. What does that mean? That means take the damn cards off the table so I don't get caught cheating, bro. That's what that means. So, yeah, I mean, this is literally proof right here. Does this look genuine to you? Look at this. Yo, he ain't even trying to hide it, man. Yo, 21, bro. You're in front of hundreds of thousands of people. You're not slick. Come on, dog. Aiden Ross is like very oblivious to what's going on, or he's just 
playing along? I'm not sure, I can't really tell. But it seems like Aiden didn't really process what was going on. So you see 21 Savage hovering over the cards, and then as soon as Aiden turns his face, one of 21 Savage's homies, who's right there with him. Something very important to remember here is social media is a facade. You watch these rappers, you're thinking like, bro, these guys are millionaires. Bro, these rappers, some of them are broker than you. The chicks, the money, all of that is rented, my guy. Why would he need to do that to Aiden Ross? Just think of it like, why? Why would he need to scam? Okay, it's maybe 100,000, 200,000, but 200,000, you do not have 200,000. And think of how much money he's making from just being on that live stream, promoting his album. There's snakes around, my guy. Shit. He directs 21 Savage to one of the marked cards and he literally like points at it. So one of his homies points at the goddamn card. Now the question is why? Well, we're going to get to that in a second. And then after this, Aiden Ross decides to, you know, he, he, he calls out the damn bluff and he says, yo, these cards are marked, bruh. And 21 Savage is like acting all like, why? Like, wait, they, that's crazy. They marked like what? That's crazy. So obviously the cards in question are marked and 21 Savage had his homies switch out the cards for him. I don't think he would do that, bro. Yeah. Nah, they're scratched, bro. They yeah. These, these cards are both scratched. Look, I'll show you. We get the other face cards up. I'm gonna show you right here, watch. Right there is a little scratch. They're, back on they're marked, bro. They're back onto what? These are marked, look. You see a little scratch right there? This one don't got it though. What a scratch? You don't see right here? We can play that same game back right now. Look, 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 look. Ray, look, watch, they have them on each card. That one right there is a scratch. That one right there is a scratch. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Am I tripping? Yes. I don't know. Wait, let me see the other cards. I don't think you do that, bro. I know you wouldn't do that shit to me. But I don't know why the fuck you Hold on, let me see this shit real quick. Give me another face card. Yeah, this one doesn't have it. The person which steals from you is the person which is going to help you look for whatever he stole. I can't believe people are like trying to absolve accountability from 21 in this situation. He clearly knew what he was doing. People are trying to blame this on 21 Savage's team. Like 21 ain't a 31 year old grown man who knew what he was doing in this situation, who planned this with his homies before he pulled up to Aiden's stream. Now the question is, why did 21 Savage feel so comfortable doing this in front of so many people? Because initially that's what I was thinking. Cause you know, I was thinking, I was like, yo, this gotta be staged because ain't no way 21 Savage doesn't think that these hundreds of thousands of people are gonna call him out on the fact that he's scamming, which is eventually gonna lead to him getting caught. But honestly, I don't really think this is fake at all. I think this entire situation is real. And that's because, Look at it from 21 Savage's perspective. He just dropped a project, okay? He's going on Aiden's stream to promote his album and do a little bit of press. Why in the world would him being a scammer and a cheater be good promotion for his album? True. And by the way, Aiden Ross dropped a video like a couple hours ago saying that 21 Savage called him and apologized. Now, a man who didn't do anything would not apologize. So, yes, he cheated. I seen him do it. Right after the stream ended, 21 called my phone. And uh, we spoke for like 20 minutes. And he was just saying to me, like, I got the wrong people around. Why didn't you say you spoke for 21 minutes? That would have been better. And and, I, I, and I'm and i sorry about that, bro. It's just flat out embarrassing. And I'm not that at all. And, you know, I, I'm sorry, man. And all that, all that stuff. And then he was like, send me your wire and follow. Make sure you have the wire in the morning. He came through on it. I got the full 250, the $250,000, which is what we agreed on before starting the card game and before starting the dice, right? So this is crazy though, man. I mean, the fact that 21 Savage was so comfortable doing this in front of so many people, to me, that's just so shady. I mean, 21 gave off the energy of a man who steals your phone and then looks for the phone with you. It makes a lot of sense because if you just listen to his music, I mean, this is what he says in his music. And most of these rappers tell the truth. They self snitch in their tracks. They tell they tell you exactly how I got a body about a week ago. Wait, bim, bim. Like it's not shocking. So of course, all you have to do is just listen to the music and you're probably gonna hear some scam line or this like it's there. It's all there. So it is what it is. And like he didn't steal that shit. And the reason why I think 21 Savage did this is because I think he thought that Aiden Ross 
was an easy lick. So he probably thought in his mind, I'm gonna just go on this guy's stream, show up in the flesh just to promote my album, and I'll scam his white ass out of hundreds of thousands of dollars right in front of his face. What is he gonna do? I'ma probably get away with it. As it relates to content creators and kind of the relationship that they have and the view they have of them, is that a lot of these rappers actually look down on content creators. That includes reviewers, that includes reaction channels, that includes streamers, and that includes hip hop media outlets like myself. Cause they feel like if these people are covering me, then I have to be more important than them. Not realizing that if we stop covering your ass, you become irrelevant. The reason why 21 Savage ran to Aiden Ross's stream is because he's the new MTV. Mm. Because blogs are dead now, okay? It's kind But not even that. These content creators, which rappers look down upon, make more money than the rappers themselves. Because they have ownership content creators that are keeping a lot of these artists alive now that's a fact so they have this holier than thou mindset as far as their view when it comes to content creators in general specifically content creators that are media outlets like myself though and when it comes to guys like Aiden Ross since they have this lens of I'm better than this person because they're covering me what happens is they feel very comfortable with blatant disrespect because from their perspective i'm not only better than you but i also know that you're most likely intimidated by me because of the content that i put out to the world and this is one of the reasons why i don't think Ana ross wanted to be that confrontational at the end of the day he's around 21 savage a nigga with a cross on his fucking face some of his <laughs> homies are there i accuse him of cheating what could go down right uh... and also too it's in aiden ross's best interest to not get upset about this because at the end of the day even though aiden ross doesn't technically need these rappers i'm sure he wants these rappers to come on his platform because it does benefit him at the end of the day and one thing in hip-hop is you know a lot of rappers they're allergic to accountability and since like attracts like people have the same moral compass attract other people with the same moral compass and so if 21 Savage's peers, if they see Aiden Ross holding 21 Savage accountable, they're going to mentally place themselves in that position and say, if I was on his platform and I did some snake shit to him, he would probably hold me accountable in front of all these people, which would lead to my image suffering because he's now exposing my fraudulent ways. And that means that they're less likely to actually come on his platform. So Aiden Ross is obviously, you know, fine with all this stuff. And he accepted 21 Savage's apology because he doesn't want to lose out on not only this connection, but all the other potential connections that could come from this one 21 Savage plug. And actually, Hey, he's playing it right. But anyway, guys, leave it in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, have you guys ever been scammed? And tell me, guys, uh, what would you have done in this situation? Would you just let it be or would you hold 21 Savage accountable.